Hello YouTube, this is a news update on the spot for Microsoft Flight Simulator after the massive live stream yesterday from Microsoft and Asobo. Here is all you need to know. The delay for the next update will last just a few days. Let's see what they can do with the autopilot. Fingers crossed. Lightning. They are looking to fix the problem with the lightning showing in wrong areas. More often in places that it should not appear. You can see this problem in my flight from Miami to New York. About the night lightning terrain map, there was light where it should not be light, or coming too soon in the scene. They checked that one. Pushed the distance of all night lightning. They improved now the street lights, at least all the major ones on the big roads. They will start drawing faster so they will show from more high altitude. A response for runway lights, for the airports that miss them, it's because of the database. It was mentioned also that they are constantly on the run for data resources. Russia and Sweden looking to update next year for sure. Now a very interesting one, AI traffic. They will improve this for free, as they promise to populate the skies and ground. The planes that are in the air will be perfect. They are trying to be above the table with this, to license everything. They want to be in a position to legally have all the planes in the sky including the real liveries for each of them. They have a team that is focused on this matter. It's a matter of time because right now the airlines have for sure different problems. A question popped up if some SDK features are holding back third-party projects to update their aircrafts. For this, they explain the process that is underway when a third-party developer has issues and that nothing gets stuck and everything can be sorted and they mention some of the existing planes, projects that people dedicate years behind of them, have code. That code needs to be ported and it takes a lot of time. There are also other groups that they pay a lot of attention. They are surprised how fast they already work. For example, the fly-by-wire mod for the A320. The plane is improving. Also that we are in a transition period and it takes time and that everything is technically possible. They don't hide any functionality, anything can be changed, but these are new technologies and it takes time to adapt. Now moving forward, it was mentioned that they are working every day on planes. They are actively trying to improve all of them while supporting third-party content too. So they don't base their progress from exterior mods, but they don't intend to do every single airliner a study level. Next point is important, about the airports for the basin. To fix any inaccurate airports, they are very impressed by the community created content. It's cool, the only way they can say. They want to talk, they want to start a conversation, so all you have to do is to write them at msfsim at microsoft.com. In my opinion this is great. As we have a project here for Lima Romeo Charlie Lima, due to inaccurate Bing Maps version for today's layout of the airport, including the runway position, ILS and nav data, it's great to be able to write for help, support, questions, proposals, whatever you can think of. I think most of you can relate to this. Next up, to increase the value of the LOD, adding more detail to the graphic option. They won't push yet for the ultra level. At the moment they are bringing more performance improvements and this is their focus now. Once they have more performance, they can expand the sliders. They fixed the mixture. Bridge was too rich. Ok, we'll check that. Next thing they talk about the future. With 5 world updates, a ton of planes that they are working on as we speak, new capabilities and pay attention to this career mode. More precise, something to do in the sim. So they are working on it. They mentioned next year on Xbox that the VR is going to be great. I can't wait for that. Now about the flight model, they are working on a lot of improvements coming with the accuracy of the simulation. They also mention a very important thing here, that the weather is part of the flight model and most problems were caused by issues like turbulence. They will be fixed. And yes, contrails are coming very soon. Let's hope we catch them this year. They finished with mentioning again that update 5 is coming very soon. And stay tuned, cause the moment it does, we make sure you get the patch notes here on Hip Games on the spot. Thank you for watching. Remember, we post every week, so make sure you subscribe for more on the spot news, tutorials, and gameplay with your favorite simulators and games. And if you want to support the channel, check the description down below. That's it for now. Fly safe, and I'll see you next time.